Hi everyone, I am Janvi Pavar. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Or if you people are new over here, then welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, as you've seen the title, we're gonna be talking about how you all can improve your English speaking skills with listening, of course. Now, first of all, I'm gonna give you people an example. An example of what? For example, a baby is born, correct? You can take any example. You can take a baby is born in your family. Now, you're gonna talk to the baby. Everyone's gonna talk to that baby. And that baby is gonna listen and listen for a few months. For the initial months, he's just gonna cry, correct? But after a few months, when you just keep talking to him and he keeps listening to you, he starts saying something, you know, he starts saying words like ma. You know, every time you're with a baby, you're always like, say ma, say mama. Or then you're like, say my name. Like a person like me is always gonna be like, say Janvi, say Janvi. Even though the kid wouldn't say that, but still, you know, a girl gotta try it. So after that, what's gonna happen is that that baby, he's gonna say ma, ma, cause the things he's hearing, that's what he's gonna repeat, correct? For example, if you're talking with a kid or if you're talking with a baby in English, he's gonna talk in English. Now, if you're talking with a baby in Haryanvi or in Hindi, so the baby's going to be talking in what? Hindi or Haryanvi. So in whatever language you're gonna talk with the baby, the same language he's gonna repeat, whatever words you're gonna use, the same words the baby's gonna repeat when he's older or he's gonna start repeating words just now. But right now, his pronunciation won't be very clear. So what I'm suggesting right now is, is that if you really want to improve your English speaking skills, I suggest you do it through listening because that's like the basic foundation to improve your English speaking skills. You need to improve your listening. You need to listen more and more. Yes, correct. You heard that correct. Is that we also need to improve our listening? Why do we need to improve our listening? We're listening to you, right? No, that's not the kind of listening I'm talking about. Very, very few people do this but no one none of us we are like active listeners none of us are active listeners we just listen to people so that we can get the main idea like if i'm talking about something right now you're only listening to me you're not understanding or you're not focusing on every single word i'm saying you're just listening to me to understand the main idea and that's okay because Everyone does the same thing. Literally everyone I come across, everyone does the same thing. Is that we only listen, we're not active listeners. We only listen to just get the main idea or main concept. But right now, if you really want to improve your English, so you have to focus every single word. You have to focus on every single word. But when you have to focus on every single word, let's get started. Now, to be a good listener, there are some things that you need. The first thing that you need is a good vocabulary. How are you going to create ro your vocabulary? For example, if you're listening to me and I start using all of these complex words, big words, and all of a sudden you're like, what is she saying? What is she saying? Oh my God. Okay. What is she saying? What is wrong with her? Why is she using such big words? You know, blah, blah, blah. So each one of you, you're going to question that because, you know, you don't, you're not aware of those words. So when you're not aware of certain words, it makes you feel like, yeah, I don't know that. So if you're a good listener, because listening is about what? You know, listening is two times the communication, one mouth, two ears. So two times the communication. Uh, so what you people have to do right now is that when you start listening to anything, first of all, please do not focus on every single word. I know that my sta statements are contradictory. I know what you people are thinking is that just like a moment ago, you said we have to focus on every single word. You have to. But when do you have to focus on every single word? That's what I'm going to tell you later. Initial position, like you're starting just right now. For example, you're starting from, t from today. So what you're going to do, you're just going to focus on the main idea, the main concept. Stop focusing on every single word initially, like for the first two or three weeks or maybe just two weeks. That's it. So for two weeks, you only listen to get the main idea. You only listen to get the main concept. For example, you're listening to a speech or you're listening to anyone present something. So only listen to them to get the main idea. You're understanding every single word, great, but please do not force yourself to understand every word. Only just get the main idea and that is it. For initial weeks, that is it. Now when you're done with like eight or nine days or you know two weeks, so after that, what you're gonna do, now you're going to focus on every single word. Now that you know how to understand what the person's saying, now that you have the practice of understanding what the person's saying, now you have to listen, now you have to pay attention to every single word that the person's saying correct? So the first part is 
is you have to be an active listener. You have to be what? You have to be an active listener. And for that active listener, at first you have to understand the main concept behind anyone, behind any speech, behind any presentation, behind any conversation. After that, you have to pay attention. You have to focus on every single word the person's saying. All right, correct. I emphasize that a lot. All right, next thing what you're gonna do, tip number three, I guess. Okay, tip number three is, is that what you people gotta do is you gotta listen to different speakers. You know, you cannot just listen to one speaker. You know, many of you, many of you are gonna go in the comment section like, we we'll listen to you, but I'm super, super grateful that you listen to me. But to improve your English speaking skills, please also start listening to different speakers. For example, I have a way of words, then the other speaker has a way of words. So everyone has got like a different way of words. The way I am presenting my ideas, same idea, any other person can present those ideas in a whole different way. So there are too many ways of just paraphrasing one single idea, one single thought, one single fact. Facts are facts, but still we can rephrase it, you know, with different words. So you have to listen to different speakers. So from today onwards, you're not only going to listen to one speaker, you're going to listen to different speakers. And for that, I know what you people are thinking, how can we listen to so many different speakers? We do not have enough time. Oh, I get it. So what you people got to do is that you can start watching a series or start watching a serial because in a serial or in a series, there are different characters and every character has their own personality the way I say character I sound like a Japanese person but I you know I practiced for this okay so when you start watching a series there are different characters you're gonna listen to every character and everyone got like their own way of words everyone got their different set of words so you can start listening to them so they are different speakers and even better than that, if you people got like 30 minutes a day so you can start listening to different speakers for like five minutes or six minutes each so that you can become familiar with how you can mold one idea or one fact into different words, how you can rephrase one idea or one fact in different words and different sentences. Next part you're gonna do is that you're only not you're not only gonna listen to one topic, you're gonna listen to many different topics. Like for example, if you people are again gonna say, well, listen to you, John V, then I'm super grateful that you listen to me. But right now, this time you have to listen to you have to listen to different topics as well. For example, if you're you know, just focusing on, oh yeah, learn English. So you're just focusing on watching series. No, please do not do that. You know, start listening on different topics, start listening on different stuff. For example, you know, start, re start listening news, news, radio, podcast, series, everything. They are, there are different modes. There are you know, like different methods of just saying one thing. So from that, what's going to happen is you're going to become familiar with that listening. Is that how we can mold one single idea or one single sentence in so many different ways? You know, every person has their own way and every character has their own way and every different topic. Like, for example, I'm saying a word right now. I'm saying it in a formal way. Now, if I'm in a different situation, like with my family or my friends, so I'm going to say some things in an informal way. So I have a different way of words. So that's what you can get with different topics different situations and different speakers. Another thing that you can do is that conversate with different people, conversate with different kind of people. For example, what you people can do is that first conversate with your teacher. If you do not have a teacher, conversate with a friend. If you do not have a friend, then conversate with yourself because that's the best part always. And I also have a surprise for you people is that if you really, really need to talk to someone, you know, with, uh, with like different speakers all of the time so that your English speaking skills can improve, then I got you people. There is an app called Cambly and Cambly is the only app in India that provides one-on-one -on -one tuitions so that you people can talk with different speakers throughout the world. Yes, you heard me correct. There are so many teachers on Cambly from all over the world. Let it be America, Britain, let it be Australia, New Zealand, anywhere in the world. So all you have to do is register yourself on Cambly, go through the list of tutors. There are so many tutors as you can see over here. Go through the list of tutors, select anyone you'd like to talk to and after selecting one person or one tutor you know start talking to them and after you have started talking to them they're gonna guide you like where you're doing wrong what you're doing wrong they're not gonna literally not gonna judge you for anything at every single point they're gonna tell you this is where you need improvement and that's what we need in a good tutor and if you people do not want to choose a tutor what else you can do is that you can randomly select anything you can randomly select for a class so any tutor who is available at that moment is gonna come and talk to you so you can just have a normal conversation then you can pick up any other tutor so that 
that way you can talk to so many different speakers from all over the world and all of these are teachers so they are going to guide you on every single step another thing another surprise that i have for you people is that if you are going to use the code jpavar22 which is j p a n w a r 22 if you're going to use this code then you're going to get a 22 percent discount in every plan and another great part about camly is that you know these teachers they are super polite and other than that there are so many different courses we have got an IELTS course if you really want to improve your interview skills we have got an interview skills course then they have also got you know, to improve your IELTS speaking English then to improve your business English to improve your formal English to improve your public speaking skills just too many things and teachers are super polite I'm John V how are you doing hi John V I'm Cherie I'm doing well how are you I'm good too. Thank you so much. I was just in Camly to check out and to have a trial. So I was just looking for teachers. And now that you're here, I just want to ask you some simple things. Can I? Absolutely. Go right ahead. Uh, I just want to ask you, is that how to improve like fluency? Because it happens with a lot of students and their mind goes blank when they're when they start talking in English. So do you have any solutions for that? Yes. Yeah, so one of the things that Cambly does have, it's one of our greatest resources, is that they have the, we have the chat. So whenever a student gets stuck, what I suggest is to say or type what they're thinking in their mother tongue, in their language, because then in the chat, I can see it over here in English. This way, I can give them the help that they need to be able to properly say it in English. Perfection, thank you. Now, coming back to our video, coming back to our topic, I'd also like to say something about pronunciation, which can be your tip number five, I guess, by now. I literally cannot keep account. That is something wrong with me. But yeah, uh, tip number five or tip number four, I guess, is to s improve your pronunciation because for a good English, you need a good pronunciation as well. And for a great listener, if you want to be a great listener, you also need a good pronunciation, correct? Why do you need a good pronunciation? So that whatever the person's saying, you can listen to them properly. And you can, you know, understand what they're saying. You can understand every single word. So right now, what you're going to do is that when you start watching a movie or when you start watching a series, you'll watch it with subtitles. You're listening to me? You watch it with subtitles so that you can read and listen at the same time simultaneously so that's going to improve your pronunciation for example if you're listening to me right now so i'm pronouncing different words and you're looking at those words in the captions below correct in the subtitles below now you're listening to me and at the same time you're reading the same word so you're going to become familiar with the concept oh so this is how we pronounce this word correctly so that is also how you can improve your pronunciation so these are some tips on how you can improve your english speaking skills with listening which is the bestest method out there thanks so much guys and if you people want to join cambly the links are in the description box below other than that if you want to join me if you want to join and you know, if you want to have a talk with me or a conversation with me then again my social media links are uh, down below in the description box thank you so much guys for watching and if you people liked it make sure you subscribe and you can comment your queries you can comment your recommendations i'm definitely gonna check those out thanks everyone stay safe bye